During the 1930s, the time of the Great Depression, America was in distress. Millions of people lost their jobs, their life savings, their homes, everything. The country was at a turning point. But yet, even in these difficult times, Americans did have one thing to help pull them through, the music. First you had jazz, ragtime played by Louis Armstrong, big band and swing styles of Benny Goodman and Tommy Dorsey's bands. And you also had some of the greatest female singers ever, like Ella Fitzgerald and Billie Holiday, who sang jazz and blues. The traditional blues sounds of Robert Johnson were created during this time, but there are many other variations of blues as well. And there's country music, made popular by the Carter family, along with Jimmy Rogers, Bob Wills, and a host of others. And who could forget the great pop standards of the time, sung by people like Ben Crosby and Judy Garland, and written by people like Irving Berlin and George Gershwin. Popular music provided entertainment to a struggling people. It gave them a break from everyday life. For a moment, they could put it all aside and just dance the night away and be free. This era represents a flashpoint in American music. Consider the sheer talent of all of these great musicians, the huge audience hungry for entertainment without a lot of money to spend, and advances in technology in the instruments and the sound of the recordings and in radio. Radio made music available to people all over the country. By 1930, many people had a radio in their home, and it gave them access to a wide variety of styles, from jazz to blues to country to pop. Music not only captured the hearts of people of the 1930s, but it also freed their soul and renewed their spirit. 